They're actually they're quite sheer. You'd need some good underwear under those. <laughs> Hello everybody. Um, a lot of you may know that um, I have an online business with my husband. We sell secondhand and vintage items and for the last few years I've predominantly sold clothes. Um, I'm moving away from that now. I've kind of, I've fallen out of love with it a bit. Um, but I do have two massive big bags full of clothes that I've had stored away for a while. And I keep putting off listing them, mostly because I really don't enjoy listing them. Um, so they just sit in their bags and they're completely unloved and they're not being sold. So I've decided that I need to rectify that. So yesterday I got the bags out and I've been through it all and I was pleasantly surprised. I couldn't believe how many really good things that were in these bags um, which puts me to shame a bit because I really should have listed them a long time ago and had them sold because there's some really really lovely things in these bags um, so I thought that for a different video um, I'd do a bit of a, a haul video as such and go through some of the bags with you and show you what I found so these items aren't listed yet. All I've done so far is just gone through the bags and had a look at them and reminded myself what I bought about two or three years ago. <laughs> I know, that's shocking, isn't it? So there won't be any prices. Um, I can't tell you what I'm going to list them for because I haven't looked anything up yet. Um, but I can tell you that I bought the majority of this from boot sales or jumble sales. There are a few things I noticed have got charity shop tags on, so at least I can tell you exactly what I paid for those. So for the most part, I won't have paid much more than 50p to three pounds. There may be the odd coat in here that I've paid maybe five pounds for, but that's generally the prices that I work on when I'm going around the boot sales. I don't tend to pay much more, so that's just to give you an idea. Okay, so um, let's make a start. Uh, the first thing I've got, talking of coats, is this absolutely stunning leather jacket. Okay, so I probably need to clarify, if you're new to this channel and you've not met me before, um, and you've seen a couple of my other videos where I've talked about being vegan, uh, you're probably wondering why I've bought a leather jacket, a real leather jacket, and why I'm reselling one. And my reasons for that are that this is now in the world. It now exists, somebody has made it. It's not something that I've chosen to buy brand new and I haven't created a demand for it. But because it's second hand and it already exists, my take on it is that it needs to continue to be used. So I don't have qualms with buying leather to sell on second hand because I really think that once once something has actually been made it needs to not sit in landfill it needs to be continued to be used many vegans would disagree with me um, but that's my take on it so would I wear secondhand leather no I wouldn't wear it um, that's just my personal choice but as I say I would rather it be used I would rather somebody enjoy it than it sit in landfill so that's the reason why I still pick up secondhand leather to sell on. Anyway, moving on. A very nice vintage, that's the label, um, leather blazer stroke jacket. Okay, next I picked up these diesel jeans from a jumble trail and that's the label on them. I believe they're women's. They are a size 34 which is maybe 16, something like that. I'm sure somebody will tell me in the comments, but yeah, they are straight-legged, classic blue D 
diesel jeans. This is one of my favourite pieces. This I actually bought in a charity shop. I paid a pound for it. It was on a sale rail. Um, it's vintage um, and you might need to put your sunglasses on for this. But look how bright and 70s this is. So cool. It's um, probably one of my favourite items in this bag. Um, it might not fetch a huge amount, but it's just a really quirky, fun, vintage item to pick up. Next, it was another charity shop find. Um, it is an Odd Molly 100% silk tunic dress. Um, I paid £5.50 for it. The pattern on it is beautiful. That's the pattern. And yeah, just a really lovely sort of three quarter length sleeve tunic dress. Really nice details at the bottom. Um, I paid £5.50 on that because I've sold Odd Molly before and I knew it was well worth it, especially as it's 100% silk. So yeah, that was a lovely find. And then another dress I found, this must be a boot sale purchase. This is Jules, um, size 10. I didn't tell you what size the Odd Molly dress was. Um, it just says medium. Um, it's Odd Molly size 4 and the charity shop have called it medium. So I'm not sure what that translates to. Um, but yeah. Size 10, Jules dress, very classic jersey tunic dress with long sleeves. Really pretty print. I'm guessing being Jules, they're horses, but very, very pretty. Love the colour of it as well. Um, this was a bit of a, a punt. I wasn't sure on this. Uh, the label is Parisian. I've absolutely no idea whether this was a good buy or not. I think I only paid a pound. Um, but it is like a scarf print. Really reminded me of Versace when I saw it. It's got a tie belt with it. So it's like um, a satin style shirt dress that buttons up at the front. And then we have a new look, nothing particularly special, but I just really liked the coat, um, like a khaki green. It's quite a lightweight, so spring style coat. Um, it's got a hood, the kind of thing that you would sort of throw in your bag and take to a festival. Various different badges on. So yeah, that was another boot sale find. This is a Kenzo top. It's really stretchy. Fun, colourful print. It's got a waist tie on it as well. Feels kind of almost like um, leotard, lycra type material. This was a lovely find. It is pure collection, 100% cashmere. Um, it's size UK 10. It's got a three quarter length sleeve and just really nice short jumper. So soft, absolutely beautiful. And I love this one as well. It's um, it's only next, it's next knitwear in a size small, but the colors just, you know, they brighten your day. Really like that one. I was tempted to keep it, but I'm going to be good and I'm going to list it. Um, this one is really, really cute. It's Banana Republic. If it was my size, I would definitely keep this because it's very cute. It's got a little dash end on it. And it is a size extra small, so probably about a six to eight, something like that. Love that. And then we have a pair of cheap Monday jeans. 
I'm not sure if these are men's or women's. They're a size 33 to 34. Let's see the logo inside. And also a pair of Levi 571 jeans. That's what the back looks like. Um, they're very small, these ones. I can't find a size in them, so I would have to measure them to um, work out the sizing on it. But yeah, tiny waist. And again, straight leg on those. And then this is a brand called Sandwich, which I've had before and done quite well with. And this is a really lovely khaki green colour skirt again. Um, it's a midi skirt. Needs a bit of a steam. Another bonus about this skirt is it's 80% tensile, which is a sustainable fabric. Another of my favourites from this bag is this St Michael pencil skirt. Looking at the label, it looks like it's 1980s. Okay, next up is a wool blend jacket from East. That's a size 14. Some kind of tweed material. And the flower detail on the front can be removed as well. East is always a good seller, so I was pleased to find that. And then we have a Bowden dress in a size 12 in a kind of green floral. Just a nice basic tunic dress. Feels quite shiny to touch. And quite basic, but this is a Topshop dress. It's quite short in its length very lacy, um, very prom if we we're ever allowed to have proms again and it's unworn with its original tag. It was originally £49 so should get a good £20 at least back on that I would think. And again new with tags is this M&S limited edition dress. Um, I don't know how much it was originally, the price has been removed. It's a pencil dress. It's got a metallic material. It's really shiny and sparkly and a faux leather trim to it as well. Okay, next up is one of my favourite brands and that's Oliver Bonus. I say bonus, I'm not sure if it's bonus or bonus, but Oliver Bonus to me. And that is a size 16 and it's a cotton smock top. And then I've got a denim shirt, or it's more chambray than denim, to be honest. It's um, it's a really soft, thin material, so I'd say it's probably more chambray. Um, it's by a brand called Fabric, size large. I think it's a men's. And I did actually buy that one in a charity shop. It was a pound on the sale rail. Okay, I found these two dresses at a boot sale. They are two from Sainsbury's, so you wouldn't think anything special particularly, but I just really love the prints on them. They're very 60s inspired. Like a pinafore style dress. Um, there was that one and this one. This one reminds me of all of Kylie actually with the geometric print on it and they're both size 12. And then we have a pair of fire trap jeans. I don't think that fire trap fetch the same price in second hand that they used to. Back in the early days of buying clothing uh, fire trap jeans were quite expensive second hand so I would always pick them up when I saw them but I only paid probably a pound for them so I should still get a good return on them. This is lovely. It's only M&S collection, but I love the print on it. It's 
really cute. Okay, on to another favourite from this bag. Again, only M&S, nothing particularly special, but it's a wool mix cape or poncho, whichever you want to call it. So that's the sleeve, got pockets, zips up at the front, um, and that is a size small, which I think is about an 8 to 10. But yeah, I love that. Really love that. It's one of my favourite finds. Okay. Oh, this is Bowden as well. And again, unworn with its original tag. It's a size 8. Three quarter length sleeve again. And it looks like that. It really reminds me of Harry Potter. It's just got those sort of Gryffindor colours, isn't it? Um, but the front of it is like that and it actually ties so you can either wear it loose or you can wear it tied at the front and the wool content is 47% wool and it's got 5% cashmere in it which is why it feels so soft so yeah that's that's a good find and then this is a cardigan from Olsen it's a really pretty cardigan actually. It's got like um, a scalloped ruffled edge to it on the front. Does that with just one button. And it's merino wool and mohair blend. And also it's my favourite colour. So what's not to love? <laughs> and then I found um, just a basic super dry jumper. Just a thin cable knit in grey. And again, not a particularly special brand, just next, but a long maxi velvet black skirt, which is really, really nice. And it has 18% silk in it as well, which is probably why it's so soft. Beautiful skirt. Um, and lastly in this bag is m and Woman Wool Blend Knee Length Skirt. I just really love the geometric pattern on that. It's very 60s inspired. Okay, on to my second bag. Um, the first thing that I pulled out were these Mickey Mouse, I think they're placemats. I've just got two of them. I've no idea of their origin. I've no idea where they came from. They don't appear to be official Disney store or official Disney parks. But they are vintage, 1987 Disney. Again, tempted to keep, but I don't really have a use for placemats like that. You could use them for anything really. I guess you could hang them on the wall if you wanted to. But they're Mickey Mouse and I couldn't pass them up. This jumper is gorgeous. It's uh, again only two from Sainsbury's but it's so so soft and I love the design on it. Beautiful. We're actually moving on to some summer dresses now and this is a beautiful blue maxi sundress from m and Collection. That's what it looks like at the top and as I say it's a maxi dress and it buttons about three quarters of the way down. Absolutely gorgeous, I love that. And then we have, find the top, <laughs> I'm not sure of, on the brand for this. This is a brand I've never seen before, so it could be something good and it could be something that's just not worth anything. But I loved the print on it, so I picked it up anyway. Um, it's a Dika. I think that's how you would pronounce it. And it's um, got a little daisy print on it. It's like a semi-sheer top with um, a peplum style bottom to it. So that's really pretty, love that.
And then these are another thing that I took a chance on. Um, pair of green dungarees, Flora Best. No idea, only a pound. So I took a punt on them. They're just a pair of green, relaxed fit dungarees. This is a jumpsuit by Eye Candy. It's actually a sample. It's a UK size 10 and it's got a really bright, bold pattern to it. That's what it looks like at the top. Short sleeves, has a collar. Um, it's buttoned down at the front and then at the back it's got like a keyhole style opening. So I took a chance on those. I had absolutely no idea, but again, if you're not paying very much, it's worth taking a chance. This is really pretty. It's only Boohoo, um, but it's new with its tag. And it's a pretty floaty dress with an asymmetric skirt and it's belted as well. So took a chance on that one as well. Um, just a bog standard top shop top. Like a little square boxy top. Oh yeah, I love the print on these. This is um, Zara, uh, size large. And it's a pair of wide leg trousers. Just love the botanical print on that. Really lovely. And similar with this as well. These are just Miss Selfridge. But again, a lovely, bold, bright, sort of tropical print to them actually look quite sheer you'd need some good underwear under those I remember this caught my eye at the time when I bought it um, it's just a new it's new look so nothing particularly special but I love the design of it it's a sundress in like a terracotta color and it's buttoned down it's just below the knee in length and it's belted as well Ah, oh, this is another sundress, maxi sundress. It's by Warehouse. That's what it looks like at the front. Very bright, very colourful. Perfect for those hot summer days that hopefully are not too far away. OK, do you still have your sunglasses in reaching distance? Because you'll need them for this dress as well. Um, this is by a brand called Global Desi. Global Desi and that is the print on it. It's a maxi dress, very 90s inspired. Um, it says size medium so I'm guessing 10 to 12, something like that. And then this is a little top by Poetry. I think it's an anthropology brand, isn't it? Um, i sure someone will correct me if I'm wrong. I was really attracted to the design of it. It's very, very floaty. It's got like a layered back to it. And also it reminds me, the pattern reminds me of that dress. You know, the one that everybody was talking about for a while and um, was really sought after. I think that was a Zara dress, wasn't it? But yeah, that's what that pattern reminds me of. Just a couple of things left. Got a Sweaty Betty workout top. Another new with tags dress from New Look. Again, a summer maxi dress in a gorgeous sort of vintage floral design. I 
and back to actual vintage this is a lovely little satin vintage top um, it says 14 to 16 but it probably comes up a bit smaller than that if it's vintage and lastly I have a pair of trousers from Hush really really soft very lightweight summer trousers definitely see you coming in these they're 100% cotton they have a tie front so you can adjust the waist on them as well and Hush are a really good brand to pick up as well so very happy with those okay so that's everything that I found yesterday so I'm now going to get this listed mostly on eBay I'll probably put the vintage stuff on Etsy but if there is anything that you're interested in that you've seen today then please message me on Instagram and I can give you prices I can send you some photos so that you can see things in more detail and I can give you more details on anything that you're interested in so all that's left to say is thank you for watching I hope that you enjoyed the clothes haul I'll link a similar video that I've done from our other channel so that you can take a look at that if you haven't seen it before and I'd just like to say thank you so much to everybody that has messaged me I've had so many lovely comments and thank you so much if you've subscribed it just means the world to have the support from you um, I'm not the most confident of people so starting this channel and going out on my own um, it's a bit nerve-wracking and you've all been so lovely so thank you so much for that so bye for now and I'll see you in another video very soon. Thanks guys, bye.